はい何週間で、はい、そうねえっ、ー、とよく聞かれる質問なんですけどもあの四ヶ月前に四ヶ月前にっていうかねよくあのメインライターの,あの星木井上さんが、えー、いつもミーティングという名の、まあ、ディスカッションをするんですけどそ,のそういう飲み会をもう1年間ずっとやってまして、えー、ガイシスという話がまず最初にあったんだけどそこではまずガイは知らないでもそ,そのエピソードを覚えててどうせそういう話をあの持ってくるんであれば最終回にしようよって私が提案してしかも何もあの全て平和になった後全部やっつけた後に3年後、ねえー、これ相手を地球人にしようよ刺す狩りを刺す相手を地球人にしようよって言ったのが私です。So, You know, the filming, he actually talked to、um, Oshino with that, the screenwriter and had you know, meetings and h a n g out. And he wanted, at the beginning, Guy wasn't supposed to talk, but he decided, we decided, why don't we bring that to the final episode? And after all the fight, after all the battle, you know, all the, you know, the villains are all gone and it's Peaceful, and after three years, it, it's like a metaphorical scene where it's actually the humans that they were protecting、um, was the one that. Yeah. So, why did the guy who was in the world die? Because it was a very good thing to do. It was a very good thing to do. It was a very good thing to do. It was a very good t 人,のせ人っていうかそういう異星人のせいではなく人類に託していかないといけないんだっていうのを見てる人たちにこれは思って逃走していただきたいなっていうのでそういう話をしました。He wants the viewers to interpret、yes. why that happened because it's, you know, who reached peace and how peace is, you know, shouldn't be given but, you know, to be protected. And he wanted the viewers to kind of, in their own perspective, understand the significance of it. Wow. Thank you. Good guy here. But Black Condor is more like Wolverine and more of an anti hero, a little more complicated. How did it feel? And Ryota as well, Captain Marvelous is a bit of an anti hero. How did it feel playing more complicated heroes in a series full of pure hearted uh, uh, heroes before you? <laughs>
So you can see that everybody has a pure heart, deep inside themselves. <laughs>
we actually like that really hurt. Hello. So this is for both of them. Um, how often did you accidentally throw or break a prop? <laughs> Here at Power College, we're here to give you a standing ovation. 